So I've just read a particularly disturbing report about a new trend that's taking place in the United States, spreading around the country. Um, it's the so-called knockout game. Basically, this involves uh, teenagers uh, going up to complete strangers and um, sucker punching them. The intention being to try and knock them out on dares from friends. Um, this is related to the uh, so-called happy slapping trend that we've had in Britain in recent years. Um, both are rather despicable. Um, there's been deaths actually reported from this. Uh, I've just heard about a homeless man in Hoboken that was Hoboken, New Jersey, who was killed in one such attack. Um, and there's racial elements to it because uh, some of this trend apparently has been called so-called um, polar bear hunting whereby victims have been white and the perpetrator is black. And I'm not shit stirring, stirring by saying that. The Reverend Al Sharpton has himself come out and criticised this and said if the tables were turned we'd be condemning it. It's deplorable. He's right. It is deplorable. Um, so I'd like to directly address... Uh, anyone who may be involved in this and the off chance that they watch this video do you really think running up to a stranger and attacking them in that way makes you a man it makes you nothing but a gutless card a worthless gutless card you're not a man you're a disgusting little uh, card and that's how society will see you you're not a man for attacking someone who can't defend themselves you want to be a fighter you want to hit people then become a boxer, become an athlete, you know, do this thing for real, and then actually hit someone who will hit back, instead of people who are not suspecting your attack, what a pussy you are, what a low life little shit, actually there's no words that are strong enough to say what I really think of these people, and the same applies to those who take part in the so called happy slapping, there's nothing happy about it. Um, it humiliates the victim, it potentially seriously injures the victim, and it's disgusting. And I strongly, strongly believe that we need to, um, wherever these trends take place, whether it be Britain, I believe it's happened in France, or the United States, there has to be custodial sentences for the scumbags responsible. These people need to be dragged before a court. The evidence, video evidence, needs to be presented, because these people gloat about their crimes, they promote it online, uh, that evidence needs to be presented, they need to be tried, and they need to be given hard custodial sentences. I'd say a minimum of two years behind bars. Because you cannot have a society where this sort of thing is um, is accepted. It doesn't just humiliate the victim, it potentially, as we see, people have died from this. These people also need to be told by the judges involved that they are cards. Too often I find that judges are a bit out of touch and they sort of say things like, uh, you know, what you have done is morally wrong and so on. Criminals don't register this sort of language. However, if they're told to their face that they are worthless cards, they might register that. Um, I'm gritting my teeth because it's made me so angry to hear about this. And they've attacked women as well. These worthless cards haven't um, spared women from their attacks. It's disgusting. And I really hope the, You know, there's times I have criticised the police. And I stand by that criticism when police have abused the power. But with these sort of cases, I 100% support the police in uh, tracking these people down. With evidence. Obviously, you need to make sure that you have the right people. Track them down. Arrest them put them on trial and throw their asses behind bars for a very long time and make them scare them into knowing what they have done um, is disgusting. I, I believe only a custodial sentence is appropriate for these cases because this is something that's very serious. This is a physical attack being glorified online. And as for people watching these videos, I, if you have any conscience, I urge you to flag the videos, get them taken down, because that's part of the crime, humiliating the victim by posting this stuff online. Um, they, the people who are posting those videos know what you think. I certainly intend to. Um, and I doubt they'll have the guts to show their face, because they're worthless cards. 
But let them know what you think, then flag the video for promoting violence. As for the people at YouTube, show you have some moral DNA and take those videos down. Um, sickens me. Really, really does. I just hope that some of the victims can um, retaliate, and uh, I believe in some cases they have, and really give these people something to think about. They're not men. They're worthless cards. They need to be shown real men. Real men do not attack people who cannot defend themselves. Real people, real men do not attack people randomly like that. Real men, if they have to fight, and by the way, fighting doesn't make you a real man in itself, but if you have to fight, then uh, there's ways to do it, and this is not it. That's all I have to say, really. But it's a very disturbing phenomenon. Um, as for the race element, there does seem to be a trend in the United States with these being black and white attacks, but I would be saying exactly the same thing if it was white gangs doing this. Um, I am pleased to see they're investigating this as hate crimes on the grounds that a lot of the victims are white. But like I say, that's relevant. I know a lot of the victims in Britain have been from all backgrounds, including black kids, so it's... That is um that doesn't change the rights and wrongs of the situation. But what is for sure is that these people need to be dragged before the courts and given very tough custodial sentences and forced to think on their crimes. And for the liberal left um who think that oh, prison will only make them worse, I put it to you why should these people be given freedom? Why should these people not be forced to think about what they have done? Yes, there's an argument for penal reform. I fully back that. But the idea that these sort of attacks should not meet severe punishments is just morally perverse, in my opinion. Because there's two crimes taking place here. There's the attack itself, which can cause physical injury, but there's also the humiliation of it, which is a form of bullying. And that's what criminals are. They're bullies. They're cards. Um, and... They need to be told what they have done. It's no good just sentencing them. They need to be told why they are being punished. And then they need to be forced onto programs whereby they will warn other gang members that this is what happens if you do this. You'll end up where I am. So I hope this trend declines. Well, I hope it ends, but that's wishful thinking. Um, all I can say for the time being, is that I hope some of these victims fight back and really give these little bastards something to think about. I hope some of them are scared into stopping this. I'd like to think if they tried this on me, I would I would defend myself. But part of the problem is the victims, the whole idea is they're taken by surprise. So it's not like they're prepared for the attack. That's the whole idea. Because as we know, these people um, are cards. And I know I've said that word a lot in this video, but... I can't emphasize it enough. Their actions are the actions of gutless, gutless cards because the victims are not in a position to fight back. They're not prepared. And these worthless scumbags, I doubt they would do it if the victim was prepared for them. If you are doing this, um, everyone hates you. And there's a good cause, reason for that. Um, and I hope you're caught. And I hope you are given something to think about. Um, if you witness one of these attacks, of course report it to the police. Um, we just need to work together to reverse this trend. Flag those videos. Um, let the posters know what uh, you think of them. Give them verbal hell. Make them feel worthless. Because they, what they're doing is actions of disgusting, disgusting bullies. Run over.